weeping? Is weeping healthy? Many times at a hospital, at a funeral, or even at a wedding, people will weep. It's not uncommon for one person to say to the weeping person, it's okay, everything's going to be all right. We feel uncomfortable around people that are weeping. And a natural response is to try to get them to stop. But is weeping actually healthy? I believe that it is. I believe that weeping is God's gift to us when words just can't achieve our expression. Sometimes things are so overwhelming, so painful, your heart is so broken, you cannot say what's in your spirit. God gives us the gift of weeping. Is the Bible accurate about weeping? Well, consider this. Jesus wept when he learned of the death of Lazarus. And when we come to the book of Psalms, and remember, this is Songs for the Summer, we read the, the Valley of Weeping. When they walk through the Valley of Weeping, it's not debating whether weeping is with us, but it's how to cope and how to deal with weeping. Sometimes we should not tell somebody to stop crying or weeping. Their tears may be their expression of their heart or their spirit. When you walk through the valley of weeping, the Bible says, it will become a place of refreshing springs. Isn't that spectacular? God gave to us a gift and tells us that our weeping is turned into springs of refreshment, refresh, refreshing. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessing. They will continue to grow stronger and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. We're in Psalms chapter 84. And there are three biblical principles regarding healthy weeping. Number one, we are to enter his courts. I'm standing at the foyer entrance to Antelope Christian Center, where people will soon begin gathering for an hour or two of prayer. The Bible says, how lovely is your dwelling place. O Lord of heaven's armies, I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord with my whole being, body, and soul. I will shout joyfully to the living God. Number one, we discover in Psalms 84, if we are to weep with a healthy spirit, we need to enter into his sanctuary. And that happens by entering in to the courts. Number two, we need to recognize the importance of dwelling or living in his sanctuary, his temple, his house. What joy for those that can dwell in your house, always singing your praises. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. And finally, number three, not only do we enter in, and not only we, do we dwell in his presence, in his sanctuary, his house, but we don't just act like a guest. You visit someone and you stay in a hotel, you are a guest. You go to a resort for the vacation, you are a guest. God's house is not looking for you to just be a guest, but to take up residency in his sanctuary. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. 
God wants us to dwell in his house, to take up residency in his presence. And that's when the valley of weeping becomes a great spring of refreshing. Remember Psalms 30, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Songs for the summer, Psalms chapter 84.